Small diameter bombs are scarier than tanks. What are the dangers of GLSDB supplies to Ukraine? The new package of US military assistance to Ukraine includes a ground-launched small diameter bomb, GLSDB. The firing range of such a missile reaches 150 kilometers. This was announced on February 3 by Pentagon Press Secretary Patrick Ryder. We are transferring GLSDB bombs to Ukraine, which will allow Ukraine to shoot at longer distances and retake its territories, Ryder said at a briefing on February 4. We will be grateful if you support our video. Let's get to 100 likes, and in the next video, we will tell you about the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon Fighter. So, what is GLSDB? This is a GBU-39 small-diameter bomb, docked with the engine of a standard 227mm M26 rocket from the MLRS, M142 HIMARS and M270 MLRS. The GLSDB's firing range exceeds 150 km. Both systems have been in service with the US forces and their allies for many decades and are available in large quantities. The GBU-39 SDB was developed in the early 2000s, specifically for the internal weapon compartments of aircraft with low radar visibility. At the time, the urgent task was to remove weapons from the underwing pylons of multifunctional fighters, since they dramatically increased the effective surface of aircraft dispersion. Therefore, small-diameter bombs were developed, which could be placed in large quantities in the internal weapon compartments of fifth-generation fighters. More than 45,000 GBU-39 SBD bombs were manufactured for combat operations in Afghanistan. More than half of them are currently in warehouses. As for the M26 unguided missiles, there are hundreds of thousands of them at the disposal of the US ground forces. That's how the idea was born – to combine the M26 and GBU-39 SBD and get a high-precision weapon with a firing range of more than 150 km. The developer of such a system was Boeing Defense, Space and Security in cooperation with the Swedish company Saab Group. The combat use of the GLSDB is carried out as follows. After the start of the M26, the product enters the specified trajectory, gains the necessary height and speed, after which the engine undocks. Further, only the GBU-39 equipped with a folding wing and tail flies to the target controlled by GPS and the INS navigation, inertial navigation system. The mass of the GBU-39 is 129 kilograms, and the weight of the warhead is about 93 kilograms. The quota for this type of ammunition is less than a meter. Thus, the GLSDB has twice the firing range that the guided missiles M30 M31, which were previously used by the Ukrainian army. The characteristics of the combat parts of both products are approximately similar. The GLSDB's flight speed and altitude are somewhat less than that of the M30 M31 guided missile. This makes it more vulnerable to being hit by anti aircraft missile system. However, the GLSDB's flight path is more complex. It can attack a target from any angle, flies around obstacles, and even hits objects by flying around the launcher. Among other things, a small diameter bomb is capable of maneuvering during fight. If such weapons are transferred in operational quantities to the armed forces of Ukraine, the GLSDB will be able to create very, very significant problems for the Russian forces. For example, at a distance of 150 km from the line of combat contact, the Russian army will have to move almost all warehouses with material means – ammunition, fuel, food, aviation equipment, clothing, and medical equipment. In other words, we will have to revise the locations of all warehouses of material assets and closely deal with the issues of their maximum dispersal. It is possible for the Russian army to hit small diameter bombs with anti-aircraft missile cover. The Thor short-range anti-aircraft missile system, in many ways it was created to combat planning aviation weapons of destruction, and the Panzer S-1 anti-aircraft gun missile system are able to effectively fight the GLSDB. Will the Russian air defense be able to cover strategic nodes from GLSDB shells? Write your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching.